Hi everyone, this is Masterpiece Convoy, back with my review on the Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise Voyager Class Ultra Magnus Part 2. The first thing that I really gotta say is that he's got an amazing robot mode. Now for articulation, he's got a good amount. The head's on a ball joint so you can rotate it 360 and wiggle it all the way around. The shoulders is on a ball joint so you can move it all the way around. The arms can rotate 360. The elbows can bend. The hands on a ball joint so it can rotate 360. The torso can rotate 360. The legs is on a ball joint so they can move forward, back, side to side, and rotate 360 as well. The knees can bend. Now, there is a way to make him look kind of like G1 Ultra Magnus since he only came with one missile. If you have any matching missile launchers like Cybertron's downships, you can use those guns of his and plug them onto the onto these ports here. So now he looks kinda like G1 Ultra Magnus a bit. Plus the missiles can fire to give the effect off. <clears throat> Plus, you can plug the Magnus missile and the orange Energon gun into these ports here. So now, all the ports are loaded up with weapons. You can have him wield in Energon weapons. The Magnus gun But really, you're going to want him wielding his mighty Magnus Hammer. You can even pose him as Thor if you so choose. Now I'm going to make the Magnus gun a lot more dangerous looking. All you need to do is take the Magnus missile and plug it in underneath the handle. Plus. 
Plus, if you have any Minicons that have firing missiles, you can use them and plug them onto the side plugs here. So now the Magnus gun is now dangerous enough to go and bust up some murder of justice. You can even do the same thing in hammer mode. When you plug in Energon weapons onto the side plugs here, So you can totally have an axe, sword, hammer, murder of justice thing going on. You can also store the gun behind his back in gun mode. Or in hammer mode. What's cool about stored it in hammer mode is that when you bring the arm back and bend the elbow You can now have your Ultra Magnus reaching for his hammer and that just looks awesome and you don't question awesome. Last but not least, I give Ultra Magnus his robot mode an out of this world 10 out of 10 for a very good reason. The reason why he gets an out of this world 10 out of 10 is because he's got an amazing robot mode. But overall, I would strongly recommend on getting this version of Ultra Magnus because this version of Ultra Magnus has his very own mold instead of the Beast Hunter's Ultra Magnus, which was a redeco and retooled it up Optimus Prime mold. Well, that would more or less complete my review on the Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise Voyager Class Ultra Magnus. This is Masterpiece Convoy signing off.